Welcome to Dependable Flame, where we explore vintage petrol lighters, ashtrays, tobacchiana, and other useful mechanisms. Make yourself at home. Today we have a Penguin high quality superlative automatic lighter featuring Niagara Falls. Canada and I believe on this side of the lighter is a cowboy of some sort appears to be a cowboy hat shirt and some kind of chaps we'll take a closer look here this is a brass lighter similar to the Continental CMC Omega state series of lighters and I believe probably was a part of the same um, I believe they all probably came out of the same factories you can see it has lost plenty of its paint especially on the side it says Niagara Falls. It's marked Penguin there on the post. The registered mark on the other one. And then is marked Penguin High Quality Penguin Superlative Automatic Lighter. Yeah, it looks like there's a patent number maybe of some kind. My eyes don't work quite that well. This lighter has plenty of scratches, scrapes, paint loss, dings, dents, especially to the bottom, wear, but it'll give you a general idea of the landscape and some of the things that are cool about these sort of lighters. Similar to, or you might as well call it a Ronson clone, basically the size of a Ronson standard and everything functions about the same I haven't had this particular mechanism off of here yet I just bought a oh fairly si good sized lot of these lighters a dozen or so of them so there will be plenty of these coming and this one was not uh, one of the better examples. It just required the least amount of work to get it on camera and sparking to where it might possibly make fire. So that's why it's going first. They're all going to get a good cleaning. But we've talked about this sort of lighter before and how even when the paint is gone I'm not sure what the proper words are for how um, the brass portion of the lighter is engraved or whatever the process is of getting the design or scene on the lighter but when the paint's gone the scene is still there where with most Zippos and that painting process when the paint's gone it may be very hard to see what was there especially on those town and country where they are uh, the entire portion where the image was where the paint was is engraved out so deeply where this you have engravings at different levels 
and it all contributes to the scene. If you enjoy watching videos about old petrol lighters, ashtrays, tobacchiana, and other useful mechanisms, please subscribe to the channel. Please like the video you're watching. Tell your friends about the channel. Hit the share button. Send the link off in a text, email, post it on social media, however it is that you communicate with folks nowadays, and let them get a look at it for themselves. You can leave any comments or questions below the video. We would also appreciate it if you would follow and like us across all the social media platforms. That'll be Dependable Flame or DependableFlame.com on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and of course eBay. You can see here where the front spine of the lighter has looks like maybe a floral design hard for me to tell without the paint being there or maybe that's all the paint I don't know if all the brass was originally covered up with paint anyway on the back as I said you can see a cowboy and and he's wearing chaps red shirt scarf or handkerchief of some kind around his neck but it doesn't appear to be a royal mountie or anything like that it just looks like a cowboy to me out in a mountainous setting with perhaps water in the background I don't know maybe that's the sky we got some vegetation down here and the green and I don't know the orange kind of makes me think of the desert I don't think there's any desert in Niagara Falls Canada though From what I know I've never been there but the back of the lighter the design is really not a design so much as just the bars then or the stripes with the one bar down the middle I don't know that could have been painted alternatively as well Either way, it, uh, like I said, just gives you an idea of this sort of lighter. And it makes me wonder, you know, over on the Facebook Zippo Attic group and OTLS on the lighter side, Cigarette Lighter Collectors Club, uh, there are a couple guys, one of them named Vlad Art Smith and another one named J.G. Moore, that do some excellent repainting work on old Zippos and it makes me wonder what they could do with something like this or if it's an entirely different process altogether and that's just uh, something that wouldn't work I don't know makes me wonder but anyway cool old automatic Ronson type clone lighter If you haven't been over to the dependableflame.com eBay store, get over there and check that out. Every purchase that you make, at least 10% will go to HDSA, Huntington's Disease Society of America. And then we run three penny start auctions each month. They last 10 days apiece. When one ends, the next one's normally gonna begin within a day or so. They started a penny, free shipping, Wherever they end, the high bidder pays the money, which the charity receives 100% of, and the high bidder gets the lighter. So make sure you get over there and hit that uh, follow button on eBay. Also, make sure that you hit the bell on YouTube. If you hit that bell, then that's going to notify you every time that we publish a new video. I know that the algorithm is pretty much going to show them all to you eventually anyway, but it helps the channel a lot if you go ahead and hit that bell and um, 
come on over and check it out. Get the conversation going. Hit the like button. Tell your friends about it. Share it. You know how all that works. Very cool. Some of the others are going to be CMC, I think, um, which is Continental. Omega. I can't remember the other brands. But you'll get a pretty healthy diet of these kind of lighters here for a little bit. And most of them are in a little bit better condition than this. Until next time.